The Mid-Atlantic Consumer Electronics Show and Sale is coming to Scope Exhibition Center November 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. Over 35 manufacturers will fill over 60,000 square feet with state-of-the-art technology, including multi-channel stereo TV, stereo video recorders, big screen television, compact disc players, plus movies, records, and discs. Buy direct from the manufacturers at prices no store can match. For three days only, November 1st, 2nd, and 3rd at Scope Exhibition Center. Don't miss it. This guy really has a tough job. He's been <laughs> hanging out with all those good-looking lady tennis players again. Well, I'll tell you what, I wouldn't go out on the court with them, though. They beat you. Boy, they are tough. I'll tell you, they beat anybody. Opening <laughs> night at the 62nd Annual Whiteman Cup tonight. And as we expected, the United States team got off to a rousing start. And why not? U.S. team captain Chris Everett Lloyd got things going. And Chris was, as usual, spectacular, using pinpoint serving to defeat Britain's Joe Dury 6-2-6-3. They call it the most elegant competition in women's tennis. We've been watching her play since the early 70s. And in more than a decade, Chris Everett Lloyd has evolved into one of the most popular athletes in history. Well, I think she's very all-American in, uh, in everything. And she's been a tremendous competitor through, throughout the years. I think people grow to respect that kind of competitiveness as well as uh, Chris is always so gracious on the court. If you've watched her play tonight, she handles herself really well on the court and she deals really well with uh, her opponents and the public. She looks like yeah, after a match she hangs out with people and you know, goes to parties. And I think she's very cool. You know, she's just a very personable individual um, and she's a good tennis player. She's such a consistent player. I think people like watch and her form is, you know, she's just perfect. You can learn a lot just by watching her. She's such a lady on the court. So why is Chris Everett Lloyd such a crowd pleaser? Is it her obvious skill, her good looks, or the fact that she is always under control? I've always been that way, I think. Just I've kept things inside myself when I'm playing. And I think I've, I've tried to use it to my benefit, you know, by not showing my opponent if I'm frustrated or if I'm mad or whatever. But, um, you know, I feel a lot inside. As a result, off the court, I'm probably more emotional than, than most people because I'm, it's all building up inside. And her opponents wish that she would lose that self-control, at least occasionally. From Williamsburg, John Castleberry, TV10 Sports. Thank you, John. And the second match still going on. The U.S. continues to dominate. Kathy Rinaldi of the U.S. is leading Ann Hobbs. Rinaldi won the first set 7-5 to five and is leading the second set 5-4. to four. The three-day best-of-seven series continues tomorrow. Only two races left in the NASCAR season. This weekend, the good old boys are down in Atlanta. Unfortunately, the vestiges of Hurricane Juan rained out today's qualifying round. They will try again tomorrow. The Atlanta 500 is scheduled for Sunday. Defensive end Dexter Manley of the Washington Redskins was not hurt today, but he did total his car in a traffic accident right outside of Redskins Park. Manley found out just last night that his mother is terminally ill. He didn't show up to practice this morning. He did go in the afternoon, but his teammates told him just to go on home. Now, according to police, Manley was leaving the Redskins Park parking lot when he drove his car into a 16-wheeled tractor trailer. Dexter was given a sobriety test at Redskins Park. He passed. He was not charged with drunk driving. Well, with two games to go, Hampton High School still holds down the number one spot in our Hampton Roads High School football top ten. The Crabbers, last year's champions, have not yet lost a game. They lead the Peninsula District and could very well wrap up the championship this weekend. Kempsville and Wilson are also unbeaten. Kempsville plays Green Run tomorrow night for the Beach District title. Deep Creek is number four. Nansman Suffolk is number five. The back five, Lake Taylor, Green Run, Indian River, First Colonial, and Norview. Pete Rose of the Cincinnati Reds got some job security today, uh, signing a new three-year contract worth $1 million. Reds owner Mark Schott said that the new deal, which begins the season, rewards Rose for past accomplishments. The 44-year-old first baseman will continue as manager and will also play himself whenever he deems it necessary. See, that's what happens when you're the boss. You can play yourself whenever you want to. And get a lot of bucks for it, A lot too. of money. He deserves a great guy for baseball. He can buy a nice Halloween costume with that. I know. We'll be right back after this timeout. People are talking about Dr. Bartley's contact lens prices. I called all over town to check, and Dr. Bartley had the best price. $99 at Dr. Bartley's. It's coming back. This Halley's Comet, it makes people crazy. It's got us local Volkswagen dealers completely delirious. We're making deals. We're slashing prices. <laughs> We're selling our new Volkswagens at prices so low, we got to be crazy. <laughs> you want colors and options? You got them. You want to test drive? You can test drive everything we got. 
come on in for a deal, because I'm telling you, this comet has got us local Volkswagen dealers totally spaced out. Hurry in before this madness ends. I'm H. I'm Q. And you know what we do. We're the good guys who say the dough when there's fixing up to do. Right now, HQ has a sale on Stanley garage door openers. Just $95. A Stanley garage door opener price so low, you just can't pass it up. $95. At HQ, nobody beats our prices. We're HQ and we'll say the dough when there's fixing up to do. Home quarters, warehouse, two convenient locations, Virginia Beach and Hampton. 